Hey everyone, Rob here, and surprisingly, another video two days in a row. I feel like this is a new streak after a couple weeks off on vacation. So we got some brand new news. Don't even think about the video from yesterday where we were talking about this new opening that 20 minutes after I posted the video, the lava started, stopped flowing from that area. So I'm a bit red in the face on that, but that just goes to show you the type of eruption that we have here in Iceland where it changes all the time. This video, however, we got some brand new data from House School Eastlands, and we're going to talk about this first, and then we're going to go on to some ads that's been going on from various people in the Icelandic society, reminding you not to go on the lava and how to do proper eruption etiquette, I guess. And then on top of all that, we're going to talk about some new cracks that have opened up just very recently, and I hope that... Uh, the news doesn't change by the time I post this, but they're saying that that is a possible area where the lava or the magma might be coming up towards the surface and it could be a new spot for lava to come out of the ground. So let's start off by looking at some of the new data that we have here from House School Eastlands. And you can see across the timeline here from March all the way up until now that the lava area was pretty steady for a while and it slowed down over the past month or so. Moving down, we got the volume consistent more or less uh, through this line. I mean, at the beginning it was pretty slow and then it just kept going up. And you can see the amount of area that that is now, uh, the amount of volume that that's going. The discharge, however, that's one of the things that I know that a lot of you are keeping an eye on and you can see it kind of goes up and down and that's representative of what we've been seeing on the webcams and from the eruption with it starting and stopping. Even though that they say, even though we can't see it actually coming out of the cone, it is still flowing underneath. But this is a good indication that perhaps it's flowing down a little bit. Although, as you can see, it is not stopping. So there's still a lot going on in that eruption area and with this volcano. So if you are heading over here, I know that Iceland was just put on the what was it level four risk category for those from the United States? The CDC is saying don't travel to Iceland, but I mean, it is what it is. You do you. So we're looking at here, you know, the lava discharge is still fairly consistent over the last uh, month or so. And then, of course, the geochemistry and the gas release is more or less what we've been seeing over the last few weeks. And I'll put a link to this in the description so that you can take a look at the numbers yourself and go through it. All on your own now moving on to some of the ads now there's been a lot of people <laughs> over the past 24 hours I think it was about 50 people that were standing 50 meters or so I don't know what that is in feet but 50 meters into the lava field to get a better look at the red hot lava and so they were just standing there on the on the hardened lava and if we know anything is underneath all this hardened lava could be very very hot hot as you can see here, 1,200 Celsius hot lava could be underneath. And at any point, a lava pool can open up and, well, it's going to be a bad day for everyone. So the Environment Agency has a series of four different ads that they've put out on Facebook. And they're putting these around to remind you of the proper etiquette when you're going to the eruption site. So this one here. Don't stand on the hardened lava. It could be very, very hot underneath. So, you know, take a look from a distance. I think that's the, the safest bet. Moving on, they have another one, which is don't scratch anything into the hardened lava. I mean, it says it makes permanent damage. I'm going to give my probably incorrect opinion on this that uh, maybe it's not the end of the world. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for saying, saying that. But uh, it's, it's a terrible sight to see if everyone's scratching in it. I get it. Um, but if this eruption continues, perhaps it will be covered up anyway. So, but don't write any profanity and, you know, and follow the etiquette. Don't draw or carve on it because it is permanent. Although, uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Now, again, walking on lava, this kind of reiterates their other ad which is as you can see even on this ad that they have underneath this top layer it could be very very hot underneath 
I mean, you can see here on the crack, like it's it's liquid and it's, it's going to burn you if it breaks. And the lava pool could just open up and uh, no one's going to come save you. And I think I've mentioned that before is the rescue team will not come save you. And they have said publicly that if, you know, your friend, loved one, some random stranger is trapped on lava and they're burning because they are now in a lava pool from the hardened lava liquefying. Uh, don't go and try and save them because odds are you're both going to be extremely injured or uh, or die. So you're basically going to have to turn a blind eye. Do not walk in the lava. Don't put yourself in that situation and everyone will be fine and no one will get hurt. Now, the last ad that they have, I am 100% guilty of this because if you've watched the live streams that I've done previously, I've actually thrown some rocks on the lava not the trash the trash is one thing i think you should always bring the trash with you but i have thrown a rock into the red hot lava because i was curious as to what would happen and if you watch the live stream all that happened is it kind of bounced off which i thought it would sink more or less but it was basically like throwing a rock onto hardened lava it didn't matter if it was red hot or not it was uh, an interesting experience but now i know better they have these ads out. I know the proper etiquette. I'm not going to be throwing rocks anymore. Although one thing that I do want to do is I want to go back and I want to throw some popcorn kernels on there and see what happens. But I think that's that's safe. I think that's okay. I think everyone will be okay with that one. But don't throw rocks. As you can see, it looks terrible. And uh, do not throw trash. I think that's just a general consensus amongst everyone. You know, put your garbage in, in the garbage bins. Now, the last thing I want to get into is this image here, which is from the Meteorological Society in, in Iceland here, the weather agency. And they're saying that these new cracks, which are marked in red here on the image, can now be seen in Gunhut near you know, the main cone. So we can see over here is the main cone that's been erupting. And then down here is are these, these cracks that have formed on this hill where all of these helicopters have been flying to. So this area right down here. They're saying that uh, they're probably cracks that are in line with the direction of the magma tunnel. And it's in the southeast corner of the main crater. So if we're looking at this map, at the top is towards the west. And then to the left is the uh, north. So you can see the, the degrees longitude and latitude here on the map but uh so they're saying that it can't be ruled out that the crack formations are an indication that magma is going to move closer to the surface but they also can't say it's not happening uh, they're saying that if it does it can be assumed that the cracks will grow further apart and gas and vapors and stuff will be seen rising from them and under these conditions they're saying that it's not advisable to be going there and they're saying that all these helicopter pilots that are landing there with the tourists or whoever's hiring them uh, use extreme caution when going there. I personally would say that for the time being, maybe just don't even land in this area because of the danger or the potential danger that might happen. Let's just wait 24 hours, maybe 48 hours before we start bringing people to this area. I'm not sure how quickly these things open up, but... Uh, you know, it could be fast enough that if you're not paying attention, maybe someone gets injured. So that's the latest news. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff going on, but I wanted to keep this one with some of the main points. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see what more comes over the next 24 hours. Hopefully a little bit more development because I do enjoy giving you all of these updates. And uh, hopefully you enjoy watching them. So until next time, thank you so much.